This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. gentlemen he's french look at that hat he's french that's toothless lautrec <laughs> or toothless lautrec <laughs> i'm hoping that in a few weeks the dentist will put something in there so he will then look normal well hopefully on the 24th yeah are you feeling are you feeling normal by the way uh with that uh, with your teeth with the you, you had some dentures yes yeah are you feeling okay with them I'm getting used to them. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting used to them. Not not happy with it, but I'm getting used to it. Okay, well, you know. Maybe if you get really rich, you get like a TV series or something. You get really rich, they can go, yeah, I, they can go back in there and just put implants in there. Yeah, that, that that's, the, that's the goal. Yeah, because, that's the goal. because that would be really nice. But I think to get, do you have three teeth down there? I think that'd be something like 15 grand. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, I have to put out some, maybe if they pull this tooth, I'm going to have to put some money out for that. So here, here's the thing that bothers me. You know, we have Medicare. Right. And, and Medicare, by the way, is only, only pays 80%. Why? I have no idea. It's probably because there were a bunch of Republicans who said, we're not going to sign on to this thing unless it's 80%. We don't want right. to have a complete giveaway program. But, you know, what? Well, that's why you need Medicaid with it. Well, no, or Medicaid, Medicaid, or what I've got, uh, which is the supplemental, which costs three hundred and ten dollars a month or something. We're paying for it, or Marjorie's company is paying for it for the next two years while she doesn't really work, and uh, it it uh, it takes care of that other twenty percent. But, but, uh, there are people out there who you know, don't want to have to pay that other 20%. And the Advantage program is, I think, not particularly good, you know, because you're at the whim of the insurance company. Whereas right. whereas with uh, Supplemental, you're not at the whim of them. You They have to do pay the difference between whatever Medicare pays and what, you know, you need to pay it off. Right. So it really... You know, it's not the best possible idea. I think Medicare should take care of 100%. That's for starters. And that should include all dental. You I know? agree. And, and See, I had to get the advantage so I get dental. Yeah, but... Because yeah, Medicare doesn't do dental. But your dental coverage would not cover putting implants, right? No, just dentures. Just dentures, see? So, I mean, that's kind of weak. You know, that's kind yeah. of weak. That it sucks. Yeah, that sucks. So people, as they get old, and I can tell you, I'm 82. Your teeth start to go bad. You right. know, I mean, your teeth aren't what they used to. I've got a couple of crowns that need to be replaced because they're falling apart, and I got one tooth that's kind of having some problems. And you know, um, maybe I need some fillings and things like that. You know, and uh, luckily I have uh, dental insurance through my through my wife's insurance. However, that doesn't take care of all of it. It only goes up to $2,000 a year. So, you know. Right. So the government should, for people over 65, take care of 100% of their medical and give them 100% of their dental. No, I agree. And give them whatever is needed to, you know, like it, it, uh, implants, which are a more expensive process, are important in that they uh, they make your life a lot easier. You're a more permanent solution. Well, you put a impl implants in there, like in your case, you have three teeth missing. They would put a, a, a three teeth there, and then they would implant them. Right. And then it's just like you've got a bunch of teeth down there. Right. You know. I mean, I have an implant up here, and it's screwed in. You know. Right. 
So I mean, it's it, screwed into your head. Yeah, and I never, I never, I know which teeth they are, but I don't know the difference. It's not like I've got dentures or something like that, you know. Right, but, right, I mean, right, that, right. The, the government should care when people get old. Take really good care of them. Take care of their health, their teeth, you know, all of that. And not, you're living in a fantasy land. I'm living in a fantasy land, but you know, in other countries they do it. You know, in England, if you're old, you've got full health care. Right. You know, you. But no dental. I mean, look at their teeth. Well, I know. <laughs> I I wonder what they do about dental over there. I haven't checked. You know, they really should. I have no idea. Because they had terrible teeth in England, and it wasn't because the British just genetically are inferior when it comes to their mouth. What happened was they used to like these jelly candies, and they would always be sucking on jelly candies. Right. And that's what caused the tooth rot. You know, but some Brit Brits have terrible teeth. Terrible yes. teeth. And they're never taken care of because who can afford it? I, I, there's got to be some kind of dental care. I mean, right. you know, you, your health can be affected by bad dent dental situations, you know? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, I, you know, I just think, I just think our government should should be a little little more caring of older people. I mean, when, when you get to be my age, you need health insurance. I didn't need it when I was, you know, 35. You know, I mean, I, I had it, I think. I can't remember. But it I was, had it. But it was a minor consideration. Right, because right. How, how ill did you get at 35, 45, even 50? You know? But as you get older, you start getting stuff. You know, you start having things like issues. That, issues, and yet we don't take care of people when they get older. You know, we still well, do. that's the American. I mean, like in Europe, you see um, older people walking hand in hand with their grandchildren, or, or younger people listening to the older people, and we throw older people away here. In the United States. Oh, I have a joke. I was going to start a, a podcast called Nobody Wants to Listen to Old People. Right. And it would just be my wife and I complaining. <laughs> you know, but, uh, they don't know. They don't take you seriously. Right. You know, this, right. Uh, when I was, when I was uh, younger, when I was in my, I guess I was in my 30s at the time, I used to go to this place called Max's Kansas City here in New York. And it was a very well-known meeting spot and so on, and all the Warhol people would hang out there and so on and so forth. So I, I hung out there. I was one of right. the Max's Kansas City folk. And I find out now that my wife was waiting tables there at the time, and I never met her. Never knew it. Never knew it. But anyway, um, uh, I, I, one night I go in there, and there are these two women I know, and they're sitting there with an old man old man he was 79 an old man right okay to me he was an old man right now he'd be just he'd be younger than me uh, right he'd be a kid and i said to him you hey, were sitting talking and i said uh, what's the worst thing about being 79 years old and he said without even batting an eyelash nobody ever thinks you get horny <laughs> And that really affected me because I went, geez, if I get to be 79 and I'm horny, nobody thinks I'm getting horny. Right. And I'm telling you that even at 79, I was horny. Sure. So, I mean, I looked upon that and I went, got to do something for old horny men. <laughs> you know, I mean. Now that should be the podcast. Yeah. What you do with old horny men? Yeah, well, what happens is you get older, right? And no, not only do they not take you seriously or not want to listen to you, but they don't want to fuck you either. No, but no. You're, but you're still horny. Right. That's the great disparity in nature. Nature doesn't say, oh, well, you're, you're 79, no longer do you have to get horny. Right. Like, I don't get horny anymore because I had this whole prostate operation thing and it just, I don't know. Um, I look at old. I look at porno films that are online, and I go, "Eh, she's not good looking. She's not enough. She's not turning me on. She's not turning me on." Or before, I'd say, 
but go through about two of them and go, I got to watch that. Right, right, yeah. right, 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 right. So it, it well, that's what the internet come down to is porn. Well, it's the one thing it's good for. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. You know, but there's uh, a lot of money on magazines. It, it, yeah, well, there are not ma there aren't magazines anymore, are there? Not really. Not really. You know, I mean, um, uh, I think people still exist. And time still exists, doesn't it? I think it's only because there are dentist offices and doctor's offices. Right, right. But they have the uh, Time magazine from like the year, you know, 1903. Yeah, well, I just don't know why anybody would want it. Like we, we get basically, Marjorie has me subscribe to the weekend New York Times. Okay. I can't tell you the last time I've looked at it. I guess she oh, uses really? it. I guess she uses it and reads it. But we're paying fifty nine bucks a month for that, and to get the digital edition of the New York Times, mm -hmm. which she says she likes. Okay, so See, I don't like to, I don't like to read on, on screen. I'd, I'd rather hold it in my hand and well, read. It. Well, you know that's why the iPad is good. The iPad is like reading a book. The iPad is like uh, reading the the newspaper. Okay, you get what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know. There's something about a newspaper, holding it out and reading it. Yeah, do you remember they used, to, it up. they used to teach? The New York Times used to be really big, wide. The, they've cut the paper down. Oh, have they? Yeah. It used to be maybe a quarter long, thicker, you know, wider if you open right. it up. Right, okay. Okay. Uh, but now, they then short, brought it down. But they used to have a thing where they would teach you how to fold the paper as you were reading it so that it would be all available to you. And there was a whole fold thing that you could do with the New York Times to make it more reasonable. Because if you ever, really? had, if you ever had a New York Times, I mean, it was huge. Right. You know, and then you turn the page, and it's huge. And you turn the page, and it's huge. So there was a way of folding it over or something so it made it more usable, which brought it down to about the size of an iPad. <laughs> so, you know, but the I find the iPad is a great way to read stuff. Hmm. You know, I don't like to read it online. No, or, neither do or I. On the screen, but the iPad, I mean, I've read whole books on the iPad because it looks just like a book. You know, you turn the pages, and they even flop over like pages. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I don't have an iPad. If you, if you use a Kindle on your iPad, it's it's fine for reading books. Terrific, you know. Really? Although I have a friend, my friend Shecky, who likes to read books. He actually buys books and reads them and likes to have them there, and he's lying in bed with the book. He he's Right. And I think... That is old fashioned. That is old school. But there are a lot of people who still like to do that. And I don't. I know. prefer. I prefer a book. You prefer a book. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But uh, uh, I I prefer the iPad. I found I got more reading done with an iPad. You download it. The whole the whole book is there. They do it. They the 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 the, the font they use uh, on the on the pages in in mm -hmm. the you know, in the Kindle, are the same fonts that you would find if you bought the book. In other words, you're getting the book. You're just, you know, you're just getting it on a, on a Kindle. And in a, on a Kindle, I mean, I, w I wish I had mine in here, but I have it in the bathroom. Uh, it, it, it's about the size of a, a book page, not a little bigger, you know. Hmm. So, so the print's a little bigger. Yeah, so you can, you, well, you can change the size of the print. That, oh, you can. that you're allowed to do, which is good for people who are losing their sight or whatever. And then you just you want to turn the page, you just take your finger and you go like this, and it, it like it turns over like it's a page. Oh, really? Yeah. So I mean, really, if I showed it to you, you'd probably go, "I could, I could do this," you know, yeah. But yeah, but, but now you have to get a Kindle, and then you have to subscribe to get the uh, books. Yeah. You can't download the books for free, can you? No, you have to pay for them. Right. Yeah. But, I mean... They're probably less than, than what you pay in a bookstore. Huh? Books are expensive. How, how expensive are they now? 
The last book I bought was probably $30. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I, I guess they've gotten expensive. I'm, I've never been a big book reader. Yeah. Oh, I was. I was in high school. Mm -hmm. In high school, I was a big book reader. And in college. Right. Right. And when I lived in France, I read a lot. Uh, I I uh, I never got into really doing a lot of reading of books. I mean, I read I read a lot of books that were uh, like uh, uh, history books about history, things mm -hmm. like that. You know, like I things that interest you. There's a book that I got that was the history of prohibition, and it's like that thick. Okay. Right. And I got through, I devoured that. I just devoured it. Because it was the subject that I was interested in, right? You know, right. But novels, I've never been into novels. I can't tell you the last time I ever read a novel. Were you not into novels or into books about history and things like that? I like history. I like biographies. Yeah, yeah, that me too. I mean, I read two biographies on Frank Sinatra. Oh, really? You know, I did those on my iPad. You know, was it connected to the mob? No, it was connected to the internet. Oh, you're talking about... Frank Sinatra. Uh, Frank Sinatra. Well, you know, let me explain Sinatra and the mob, okay? And then you'll appreciate this because you're in show business. Okay. In those days, most of the nightclubs were owned by the mob. So if you were a singer and you played nightclubs. You knew the mob. Sure. You know, uh, and and some of them maybe even became your friends. Right. And when Sinatra was out of work, you know, he had a bad time there for a couple of years where Columbia dropped him and, uh, you know, he couldn't, he couldn't get the work. It was the mob that kept him working. They kept booking him into all the mob uh, uh, joints. Joints. I mean, uh, the biggest one here in New York was the uh, what was the what was the club? The uh, oh god, ah, I'm trying to remember now. The the one that was like south of the border style. Um, Not the Cotton Club. No, oh the Cotton Club. That was mob too. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of the club. Uh, I'm, yeah, that, the Copa, the Copa Cabana, yeah, yeah. Copa was a was a mob hangout, right? You know, so he they kept him working because uh, they liked him and because he knew them and because he you know knew them when he was coming up in the business too, you know. Right. So, so they were always fond of Frank because he was very respectful of them because they they did right by him. So why shouldn't he have been, shall we say, mob associated if these are the guys right. that saved his goddamn career? Right. You know. Uh, and he, he wasn't about ready to throw them out with the bathwater. No. Why would you? Yeah. I mean, they saved, they saved his career. So, I mean, uh, that uh, he, he had, I never, I, when people say he was associated with the mob, of course he was. Right. Of course he was. You know. It was funny. It's funny. The mob, people don't realize the influence mob has now is not what it once was. No, uh, not at all. And uh, they, one time they ran an article on my friend Al Goldstein saying, Screw Magazine is, uh, is associated with the mob. The mob distributes their newspaper. The thing the New York Times failed to mention was, so was the New York Times. Right. Everything, anything that moved down the streets of New York City was mob controlled. Right. The mob had their hand in it. I had a friend who had a newspaper, a little sex newspaper, and not even, I don't know if it was, I can't remember what kind of newspaper it was. But anyway, he had a little publication and they wanted to, they wanted to buy it. And the, he said to them, um, well, what happens if I don't? He said, then your magazines will never get off the truck. Huh. Huh. <laughs> he, he, he sold. Yeah, I bet he did. Yeah. Uh, he sold. 
And um, uh, they took him. He, what he did is he said they picked him up. They He was walking down the street, and they said, get in the car. <laughs> Oh, one of those things. Yeah, and he got the trip to Brooklyn. It's a famous trip to Brooklyn, you know. And uh, he goes into a room, and there was, I can't remember who it was now. It was some big mobster. Right. This guy, uh, the guy got killed. I'm trying to remember his name now. But anyway, uh, he uh, he said, you know, he said, you, you know you're not going to get off the truck. So why don't you just sell it to us? We're going to give you a, he said they gave him a decent price. It wasn't like, they were trying to, you know, give him a lousy price or anything. He just right. wanted the publication. Right. And uh, so he said, what, what else could I do? I was in Brooklyn, a bunch of mobsters. They all got guns. <laughs> of course I'm going to sell, you know. And uh, he You have to be an idiot not to. Yeah, yeah. But that's the way it was then. It, it, it's not that way any longer in New York, I understand. It's not really the mob isn't, has, isn't controlling stuff like it once did. No. And I'd also got, uh, is this discussion boring you? No, 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 no. <laughs> I know. No, not at all. You got to realize we both probably just got up. What time do you get up? What time do you get up in the morning? I got up around 10, 10.30. Yeah, that's me. That's me. 10.30 is my get up time. Right. You know, if I see on the clock it's 10.30, I go, I better get out of bed. Right, right. Me too. And then I do my, I do my 100 sit-ups. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, no, it's not exactly 100 sit-ups. It takes me 100 times to get out of bed. Good night. <laughs> we'll be you. here all week. That's an old uh, David Feldman line. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. How is Feldo? I have no idea. The guy doesn't talk to me. Why not? He's Because uh, he's, he's turned into an asshole. You know? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. A lot of people have said he's just very unpleasant. You know. Uh, people who used to be friends with him you know i mean I, I did never did anything to piss him off right god knows I, I, there are people who hate me and they have a good reason to okay but he doesn't right you know right so you know but it uh, but but every now and then i find myself quoting a feldman joke they're old jokes because i don't think he's got any comedy in him any longer but you know i i, I often tell the story about the best thing ever happened to me in, in comedy is I took Feldman out to lunch one day and Feldman was the cheapest guy in the world. He could have thousands and thousands of dollars, which he had, but he would never go and pick up the check first, right? Right, right. right. So I, we, I, we eat, uh, I, uh, I, I give the guy my card, he goes out, he comes back, he's got the thing, and Feldman says, let me take care of the tip. And I said, wow, really? You want to take care of the tip? He says, absolutely. Let me take care of the tip. I said, okay. He said, uh, let me see here. And he grabbed the, the receipt, right? The thing you're supposed to sign. Right. And he wrote in the tip and then handed it back to me. <laughs> <laughs> that's genius. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah, so that, that's a, that's one of the funniest moments of my life. <laughs> that's yeah. very funny. Yeah, Alex, you got to admit that's funny. Oh no, that's hilarious. I mean, Feldman was very good as a writer. He was terrific. You know, oh yeah, he was one of the best. But uh, you know, he went through a divorce and everything. He got really bitter, and he somehow I don't know. It just. I, I, one day he just stopped calling, you know, and and then he started putting me down for some reason or another, you know, and I just went, eh, you know. Why be bothered? Well, you know, I, I, what do I do? I mean, I've been good to him. Am I supposed to hold that against him? Hey, I've been good to you. Be good to me. No, no. I just right. go, hey, I did what I did because I I did it out of love, and I'm right. caring, uh, and you know. You know, I mean, he, his relationship to me was about what yours is to me right now. You know, very copacetic and right. very amiable. And you don't hate me yet, do you? No. Oh, okay. I just wanted to make sure. I got to keep a, a good eye on that because, you know, if you stop all the I'm wondering, though, how I can parlay this show into uh, getting more gigs. I wish I could find, parlay this into making some money. Yeah, uh, me too. Yeah, 
Me too. Well, first, I mean, I need, uh, okay. I need an well, income. Let me just say this because we're running out of time. The first thing you've got to do is get a gig, and then we'll talk about how we can publicize it. Okay. Yeah, you know, uh, we got to get I you. I think I have a gig in June. Got to get you working again. Got to get right. you on the boards again because you're you're a funny guy, but you're also the kind you're the kind of person I want to wish all kinds of success for. Yeah, me too. Because, me too. Okay, yeah. hey, you know, go figure. Listen, maybe you should start auditioning for films again. You know, you certainly. I need a new agent. You need a new agent. Yeah. Wow. Well. And I can't. I can't really go in for uh, a, a meeting with no teeth. That's right. Let's get the teeth taken care of, and then we right. should we should get you back it, into films. It's been it's been six months since I, since I've been dealing with these teeth. Yeah. Yeah. It's forever. been a long process. It is. Hey, listen, we've run out of time. Already. Yeah, we're, in fact, we're over time. Good All talking right. to you again, my friend, and we will see you on the, on the, uh, uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Okay, Steve Kravitz, there we go. Gotta love Steve. Steve is a fun guy to talk to. I like, see, the reason I like talking to him is because he isn't sitting around doing material, okay? He's just a very funny guy, you know? And he just, he knows how to have a conversation with me. So I really appreciate that. Anyway, I don't know. Everything's a little, a little, I don't know, funny tonight with the picture. I give up. You know, I mean, I there's like one person waiting to come on right now. And I'm telling you, I'm getting sick of this. Okay? I'm really getting sick of this. It's getting to the point where I just want to uh, uh, say that's it and uh, pack it in. You know? Um, because it, it's, just, it's just not worth it to me to come on here every night lately. And see one person sitting there to come on. And I appreciate that, that person is there, mind you. In fact, that person who's there is uh, uh, is, is uh, Jeff Stein. Jeff Stein is always there and uh, does a really nice job for me. But, you know, of uh, being there, and he's loyal to the show, and I appreciate that. Uh, but it, uh, you know, I mean, it doesn't, doesn't make me feel good to have nobody there. Right, Jeff? I guess. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it really sucks. It, uh, it's uh, frustration. Yeah, sure. no, it's really frustrating. And uh, yeah. I don't think anybody really listens to this program anymore. And I don't know why I'm wasting my time doing it, to be honest with you. I do it for you, Jeff. Yeah, thank you. I'm serious. I'm serious. You <laughs> I know. enjoy it. There's A certain, lot of people enjoy it. Well, there's certain people who have been very loyal to this process and the only reason I keep doing it is really for them, you know, mm -hmm. rather than, uh, uh, you know, uh, well, here comes here comes Tony Magno. Well, that isn't exactly a show, uh, but let me see here. Uh, where is Tony? There's Tony and the hideous wallpaper and the hideous uh, uh, curtain back there. Oh, here comes Alan. OK, yeah, Alan's jumping in, you know. I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do about this. I mean, I keep thinking, maybe I just should go, should go to another kind of way of doing the show and the number of days that I do it and what I do on those shows, you know. But I've yet to figure it out, so. Lacking anything else, I guess. I'm sure I'm, if you had some beautiful girl in the background stripping or something, you'd have a lot more people on the show. Yeah, but then I wouldn't be able to put it on YouTube. You see, you don't know that. Oh, really? They probably get you. Probably get you that. Oh. But you admitted that you don't get much from YouTube anyhow. So, well, I would get a lot of people watching, but I wouldn't get monetized, and uh -huh. I might not be allowed to even do it. <laughs> you know, although there are some naked guys on on on. I uh, found that one guy that was demoing the. You know, they showed you that was demoing how to put a condom on, and he had yeah. an erection. He was playing with himself and I'm yeah. like well it's sex education I guess 
I guess. Well, she could you know, she could talk about you know how to use a vibrator safely or something. I don't know. Yeah, how to pleasure yourself without trying. Yes, I, right, tell right. people how to give how to give an enema. You haven't lived until you give yourself an enema in the last twenty four hours, two days by yourself. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on a second. <laughs> yeah, this I had is, to give a fleet enemy to myself. For, this for is the, getting really strange here, Tony. Yeah. I, I mean, it was it, my life was so. I am scarred, Alex. I don't know. Well, wait a minute. But what they what were they doing? A, a, a what do you call it? A, a yeah. Biopsy. But I had to give an enemy to myself two times before the thing today. Oh, yeah. Biopsy. No, not a biopsy. Oh, for the biopsy? Yeah, for the Yeah, biopsy. I had to take a fleet enema. I animal. never had, I had to do myself. a fleet enema with a biopsy. You know, Tony, you're not I didn't even think I got to... it in. I just fasted, really. Tony, you're not supposed to drink the enema. <laughs> Tony, my life has been a nightmare the last 24 hours. Yeah, but if you do, I'll send you a straw. <laughs> you ever see me in the shower. My it comes equipped come with a straw. Make sure you get it in right, but don't go all the way. Maybe this, will, maybe maybe this is the reason nobody them. calls this show, because people call up and the one thing they talk about is giving themselves two fleet enema, uh, enemas in 24 hours. It was a nightmare. I was crying in the shower. I don't this know. is where my life is. Wait a minute. I, now, I've had a biopsy for the prostate. Now, I didn't have to go do a, a fleet I enema. Had, I had one six years ago. You know. <clears throat> Did you have to do it? Yeah, but only one, and you know they did it right there for me. I'm trying to remember. Did he make me do one? I don't think so. Usually, no. Yeah, usually they do because they want to clean out that area a little bit. Well, here comes. Speaking of enemas, here comes Phil Meyer. <laughs> <laughs> I yelled Meyer in the office today when I cried. Yeah. You son yeah. of a bitch. Yeah. Did you guys no, ever have an, an MRI? No, I I won't do an MRI. Why? I would I would rather die first. I'm a, I don't like claustrophobic being close. Yeah, yeah. I I, I couldn't can't do, do that. It. You they would give you, they give you Valium before you. It doesn't matter. I'd still be screaming. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Really? Well, they do. They have I had open one MRI today. too, Alex. I know they have open MRIs. Uh, that they would. That's what they would have to do if they want an MRI. Most I, things I, that I've done M the open MRI years ago. Most things that they do. can do with an MRI, they can do it with a CT scan, and those I can tolerate. It's not the same thing. Mm. So I, I know you understand the difference of the technology, but uh, they, they see different things better. Like, um, uh, for instance, uh, you know, for the prostate, the CT doesn't do much, but the MRI does. And well, then why is it that everything they did with me, with the prostate for my mm -hmm. seeds and everything else, was done using CT scan? Even the radiation well, this, was this, aided this, by CT scan. Yeah, I, I can't. Okay, so I answer me that one, doctor. Well, <laughs> we will see you at ten fifteen. Yeah. So why do they use? Why do they want to do the MRI with Tony? Because the MRI is a guided way to. No, guide. they're not doing an MRI with Tony. Oh, well, I just be, said they were doing a biopsy. He used an IX and he used a. Uh, I forgot what he called it. He did a sonogram first, and then he used some kind of sound to take pictures of it. Well, that's a sonogram. That's a sonogram. sonogram. He says everything will look good. And then I came in, Alex. I cried like a baby. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. What do you mean you cried like a baby? Oh, did you do the biopsy? When he numbed it, yeah, I did it. I cried like a baby. When he numbed it, I hit the roof. I'm telling you. Still I hurt, Tony. Does, does it is. still hurt? Are you sitting on it? I called you from the uh, Phil. I called you from the office. I know. And all I heard is in the office, "Who's here for the Goldstones? Who's here for this?" I'm like, "What am I doing here?" Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second. So they did the biopsy on you. Yeah, I did it today. Oh, you did it today. So you won't get the results for what, a day? No, he said about a week and a half. What? He's yeah. got uh, wow. welfare insurance. Wait yeah, a minute, really? wait, a minute. wait a minute. I got Thanks. my I got my results the next day. Well he I guess he wouldn't say a hundred percent, but he said everything looked good, but then he sends it out and then they and then you know Hey Tony, kind of, what's the name of the insurance company you got again? Vinny Boomba Insurance. <laughs> it's like they swear. Just think, you know what? I'm going to tell you something. It was a horrible experience. I don't want to take up the show with this horrible. Like, I don't know. How, I told Checky, I called him, how did Alex do this? I was in. I, I got to tell you, my guy, my guy, my guy, the my, world knows. My now, guy did it, about. and I was told, well, it's not pleasant. Get ready for that. And he didn't, and I didn't feel anything. All I heard was what felt a little pressure like a staple. Going oh, yeah. Through. Oh, I heard that staple. I thought of you. Clink, clink, clink. I, oh, my God, they're killing yeah, me. Yeah, no, we're but, but, but it, didn't, it didn't hurt a, at all. I mean, he numbed me. You know what me got me, Alex? When they numbed me. Oh. 
when they numbed, numbed you, they oh, stick yeah. something up your butt and squirt the now, numbing the, agent. One of the one of the ways to do it is to to inject novocaine into the prostate. I can't. They even only they only told Tony they were numbing him after <laughs> listening to Tony. Numb. For four or five hours on the phone, they said, we're going to fix this son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm telling you, I paid There's them. nothing for <laughs> you. This is the guy that kept, kept, you, 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 this, this is the guy that kept calling us every 15 minutes saying, is it going to hurt? Well, we're going to give him his money's worth. Now. Don't do anything strenuous, and you did really good. You, you, know, you know, they probably, that's the doctor. Fine, that was in, that's the doctor, Tony, that was in the New York Times that hung himself today. After, after, you after, had probably after I drove him crazy. Oh my God. My brother was having breakfast at the diner. He knew I was going to hit the roof. He was laughing know, all the way. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I had how, one six years ago. I am uncomfortable. I don't know how your doctor did it. But I was told by Alan that it was going to be uncomfortable. So I was prepared for it was that. A little uncomfortable, I yeah. didn't feel anything. You didn't mind really? when they went in though with the. I with the, well, they went in there to numb it. What, what? I know. I just couldn't. Yeah, I kept. It was. I couldn't. I was all and, revved and up. And God knows, if you're gay like me, you love taking it up the ass. Did they say <laughs> they put you no, out? No, they kept saying, "Breathe in, breathe out, let it in, I, let I it happen." Let, I can't. Let this said they put you and then he finished off by saying, "Was it good for you?" Yeah. yeah. He, I mean, I'm doing it next week. <laughs> Let's go for seconds. Alex, did you turn your volume up? I thought of you when I heard did this. Did I turn snap my volume up, Alex? Yeah. I said, "Oh my God, that's the stapling." You what do you mean? About. Did I turn my volume up? That way you can. You talk should turn your me. volume up. You, you really? Turn up. my volume yeah. up? Why turn my volume up? Is that's that better? Is that better? Okay. Yes. Phil's hearing aid isn't working well tonight. <laughs> Phil, a grown man crying in the office. <laughs> yeah, that's why I got on because I, I heard you on uh, YouTube and the volume was really low, so I. Oh really? Wrote you. And you ignored my. Uh, Gee, this should be this should be pretty loud. I don't know why it is. You sound loud. good now, Alex. Well, not well, better. Yeah. Well, turn your hearing aid up, uh, mm -hmm. Phil. Yeah. Well, no. I'm, in fact, I'm peaking here. Really? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, maybe it's something wrong with your equipment. Yeah. What do you see? Tony's maybe. Oh, well, that's what Tony in. said. There was doctor. Yeah. Anyway, uh, gee, Tony. Well, I'm sorry it was a, a terrible incident for you, uh, but he got uh, what he I deserved. Got hmm? are, are you sure that they that they actually did it? They maybe, yeah. maybe he they actually said me. I was pretty good. Actually, I was trying to do the breathing. I felt like I was in like Lamont's class or something. What the hell? Was that before or after you were crying? Right. I was crying, Phil, when he numbed me. Oh, I had a little tears coming. They gave me a towel, a crying towel. I think they get what eight. Samples or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah between said, twelve and fourteen for me. Yeah, between twelve and fourteen. Oh, really? Mine was. I think maybe when mine was twelve. I can't remember. You 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 said on the air once that it was like sixteen, but maybe you know I'm not remembering shit like. I, I don't know. I don't remember any of it. You know. <laughs> I mean. I want to block it out tonight when I go to sleep. <laughs> no, the fact is that my uh, it was it was actually. Uh, 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 quite easy for me and not a problem, and I'm surprised that it was for you. Did they put you out? They, no, they have, no, no. Me? No. I'm I'm Bill, Bill thought my doctor, my doctor said I can put you out if you want me to. He oh, said, really? but it's not really necessary. Not at Kaiser. They don't even offer you I, that. Well, I I don't <laughs> go to Kaiser. I, I this I went. This was done in my doctor's office. Was it? Done yeah, that's at, what he did too. Yeah, yeah in the office. Yeah. Kaiser. They told me to take an aspirin and you know, suck it up. Really? Yeah, they don't want blood thinners like aspirin in your system. You don't yeah. want your prostate was, bleeding for a day or two. Yeah, yeah, well, I don't care. I, but whatever they did to it, don't work no more. I've had two or three of those uh, biopsies, and uh, uh, the, the, the first time, I think I pissed blood for a month. Yep. Really? Yep, it happens. Yeah, you'll enjoy that, Tony. Well, you know, I had this. I had this thing where it, it's been hurting. It, it, I, you've heard me complain about it. it's been hurting me to pee for like two, three months. I mean, really stinging. And yeah, the other yeah. day, I went to the bathroom, and there was, I think, a little bit of blood. And what also came out was something that looked like plastic. Oh my God! You get me worried. Now. And now it doesn't. No. Now it doesn't hurt me anymore. 
You don't huh. think you had a stone? And I you think a, I think you had a kidney stone. You had a stone. stone. No, yeah, that was, it wasn't a kidney stone. I know what a really? kidney stone should look like. Stone? No, it wasn't. It looked like a piece of plastic. Okay. You know what's funny, Alex? But wait a minute. Let me finish. Let me finish oh, what sorry. I'm saying. It's just story so I so I passed whatever this was. I guess that's what it was. It was sitting and lying on kind of the side of the bowl, and I I didn't retrieve it because I didn't know what it was. To tell you the truth. Um. But ever since, I don't have the pain, the pain anymore. I don't have the uh, painful urination any longer. So I think what it is is something that was part of what they did when they did all the seeds and the, the everything else, and it is somehow was coming out and lodged in there for months and finally decided to, you know, spit itself out. So, uh, and, uh, and now I'm feeling great. You know, that part, that's one thing I'm not worrying about anymore. You gotta start filtering your coffee water uh, you know, the, 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 the water in New York might not be as good as it used to be. I'm filtering the coffee water. Yeah. Yeah. He's filtering it through little pieces of plastic. I use, I use, right. the, uh, I use the, uh, what do you call it, the Brita water filter, and then I use that water for the coffee. Yeah. There, was a, there was a guy in the office, you can't help but hear the people talk, right? So he's filling out his forms, and he was here for the kidney stones, and then he's on the phone with somebody. He, I guess he was leaving to go someplace on Saturday, so he says, can you drive me? He says, yeah, I'm at the urologist. He says, you know what? I got a great psychiatrist that I want to leave. The guy's going to the urologist and he's got a psychiatrist. And then he's saying, I'm into yoga now. I can stretch, the guy's like 70. I can stretch on the floor at all different angles. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. This that, is what's going on. That, that's <laughs> wonderful. Yes, yes, Alan. Did anything happen in the Supreme Court today? Oh, what happened? I think I, I, I don't know. I, I thought they, I think I think system. crowds of human beings t burned it down. I think that's what happened. The oh wait a minute! We don't have to do that. They're doing a good job, good enough job of burning down the Supreme Court on their own. You know, yeah. Uh, it's really it's really really sad. Really sad. Well, the next thing they're gonna. I was watching CNN. Last Go ahead, night. say something to piss off Phil. You gotta wake I him am. up I'm there. Gonna, he, he's, gonna, he's very the, quiet. The next right thing now. they're gonna go after is gay marriage. Meh, I don't think so. No, okay. no, because uh, that got. I believe that got passed by by the by by Congress. I, I believe so. Yeah, too. so uh, they don't have, they don't have to rule on it. Oh, you know, okay. it's it's law. Unless somebody comes to the uh, Supreme Court and says uh, they protest it, and uh, then the Supreme Court says it's unconstitutional. Right, that's right. What's unconstitutional? It, it, I can't say how it would be unconstitutional to be able to I marry. It, it, it was, sex. but that's but I'm how saying, the Supreme but there's, Court. But there's no way you can interpret that as, as uh, being uh, unconstitutional, because it's unconstitutional a lot to let people who want to get married get married no matter what their sex is. Yep. You want me to read that list again of all the different <laughs> persuasions? He, she, we, no. Yeah. Phil, Phil was on the internet today when he had some free time looking up all those. No, I wasn't, <laughs> and I didn't have any free time. Yeah. Whatever free time I have, it's Tony seems to find a way to take it from me. Yeah, right. <laughs> Rob it from you. And you'll, those are hours you will never get back, Phil. Right. The, my suggestion to you is don't answer the phone. Oh yeah, I've been, yeah, I'm sorry. I called him from the doctor's office, and you know what he says to me? I got a floater. I'm talking to a guy who's in the, he's got he's at Kaiser. You were there early. He couldn't see. He was getting dilated. Oh, I was uh, I was at the I was at Kaiser today. Uh, they dilated my right eye to recheck the uh, floater and the and the retina. Oh, I thought when you said floater, you were talking about something else. A dead body. <laughs> Oh, I don't, I don't Hello, I don't Kevin. Do that Hello, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Hi. I just wanted to say hi to you because you know it's Tony and it's. When you're done Phil. talking about assholes and penises, I'm gonna. I'll join in. Oh, okay. In. Well. <laughs> well, uh, the trouble is, I mean, we are talking about the Supreme Court, so we are talking about assholes. Yeah, well, that's what I meant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, so anyway. Uh, I, I just decided. It just brings back bad memories. That's all. I just decided that I'm fed up with this country. You know, I'm really fed up with it. If if I was younger, I think I would. I, I can't even walk down the street these days. Uh, if I were younger, I would just get on a plane, go to another country, and live there for the rest of my life. You know, 
anywhere except Russia, of course, and a few other things. But, uh, you know, I mean, I just, I, I see no reason. Uh, this country has turned into just a garbage dump. Yeah. Hey, I found a picture of Bob Saget. Oh. I, I took with my iPhone. Okay. Because he, he wouldn't let anybody take professional pictures of him. Really? Why? If you, if you took professional pictures, they threw you out. Oh, okay. Ah. Well, how about using your iPhone? They should throw you out for I, that. Well, I did use my iPhone, but you weren't even supposed to use that. Yeah. Uh, David Mayeri told me, don't take any pictures. Yeah. yeah, I think there was, I can't remember what the reason was, but he didn't like people taking pictures up when he was doing a Is show. It the flash out? No. Well, you because people will take Larry the, Brown. no, because they will take pictures of him and mm -hmm. they will turn around and sell them. Oh, and okay. he, you know, he probably believed like so many people should believe that they, they don't want somebody making money off their image, you know. This is one of the, see how heavy he was? Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He lost weight after that. He died. <laughs> well, that helps. Yeah. yeah, I can't believe he died. Still, that was you shocking. can't believe he died. Here's he how it happened. Here, let me. Tony, he didn't really die. Let me let me explain it to you, Tony. When people stop breathing, and they are now at room temperature, they've died. I know. Okay. I still can't get over my mother's not here. Still, I was like, you can't get over the fact your mother's not here still. Yeah. Were you thinking yeah. that while you were getting the biopsy? I was like, oh. she would have came with me. She would have been in the office coming in. I got to go in the room with him. <laughs> like, oh, boy. Oh, yeah, boy. she was that bad. I got to come in. <laughs> I stay out. I'm coming in. Boy, I, hope, I hope they found what they were looking for in your biopsy and don't have to redo it in a couple of weeks. Oh, God forbid. <laughs> in a couple of weeks, they usually redo it in a couple of days. There you and go. Oh, boy, did you? Boy, you're still cleaned out. Yeah. Boy, did your mother do a job on you, Tony? She did, Alex. She <laughs> a when I went to the party that day, she's who are you going to see, Alex? She didn't know who you are. When you can't go empty-handed, you got to bring cookies. Where does he live? Harlem. Harlem. She goes. <laughs> Is it safe? That's she where goes, the Negroes don't. live. She goes. Don't leave late. Because <laughs> she knew how to take two trains and a bus. <laughs> You know, for a second there, Brian, it looked like you were a black hole. Yeah, it looked like that thing they found uh, the, ast the astrophysics found, right? Yeah, they found uh, they found an amazing black hole, huge, <laughs> like a big blur. Uh, something like a million, a thousand times was it wider than our sun, or maybe even uh, more than that? That that's uh, Tony's asshole right now. <laughs> I know, and, and, and you wonder why people don't call in sometimes. I was like, oh, I'll call in. Then you guys start talking about. I'm going to start wondering why they're hanging up. Okay. Is uh, how you doing, uh, Kevin? Okay, how are you? Good. I just thought I'd check in with you. Better than Tony's tush. <laughs> let, it, let it happen. Let it happen. What? Let what happen? That's what he would say. Breathe out. Let it happen. Like I was in yoga class. Well, what, it was like he was, no, it sounds like he was having sex with you, Tony. I mean, I thought he was. Did he have his hands on you when they used the firing squad? Did he have his hands on your shoulders by any chance? <laughs> and then he says, "You can get dressed now, Tony, and go home." He's standing right there. And says, "Yeah, but I got I shrink to this. Yeah, but I'm gonna I'm gonna wait." Oh. I said. <laughs> Bubbles or Feldman usually say that all the time. What? In the prostate exam and the doctor had his hands on my shoulders or something? Yeah, the whole Bubbles time, yeah. Feldman. yeah. I, I, I think a lot of comedians use that joke. Yeah. yeah. I always thought it was because they were afraid you wouldn't pay the bill. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, so... Yeah. You know what really bothers me? I've been saying this, I said this today when I was talking with uh, with uh, Kravitz and that is that really what we need in this country we have Medicare now we need dental care uh, you know because I, I have to do something about a tooth here and I'm just not going in because I don't want to put out the money but I'm, I'm going to have to eventually you know and I if I don't want a big gap that. right here in my mouth I've got to my go get the hit, what on Monday Monday, I'm getting my two lower wisdom teeth pulled out. Oh, well, that's that, that's nothing. You don't have to replace those. 
you know. Uh, I hope not. But uh, awesome enough to get rid of them. Are they bothering you, Alan, or the Aiken? One is. Oh, one by is the that. way, I, I just saw the headline here. Um, uh, uh, they're releasing inclusive Barbies. Have you heard of these? What's that? Barbie dolls? These are Barbie dolls. Well, tell them, Kevin. You're saying, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, no, got one with a skin condition. They got one with a prosthetic <laughs> leg. They got one with a freaking... <laughs> the hearing aids. Hearing aids. Hearing aids. Yeah, they've got them. They've got one for everybody. They got one that's Republican and one that's Democrat. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean that's uh, why. Uh, you know it's so stupid. why? It's not like she can't not hear. It's a doll. I mean, what is it? It's all about diversity and inclusion. Right. For the kids, it's great. I guess you know. But yep. inclusion for who? Kids uh, who ha comment. kids who have hearing aids. I'd like to comment, but I yeah. like to keep my job. Oh, I see. Okay, all right. Yes, I understand. I you understand. see the fires in Laguna and uh, Laguna Niguel today? No. Well, wait a minute. Hold million dollar house. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Home. You're changing topics. Yeah, because the oh, last no. one sucked. No, it but. did. No, it sucked to you. It didn't suck to me. Okay, Brian didn't want to answer it because he has a job and he's worried about his answer coming back to haunt him. Okay, yeah. so let's go to Kevin, who doesn't have a job right now. I had a good job my whole life. Right? What do you think about the all-inclusive Barbie? Do you see it any reason what it for it? They're, 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 they're keying in on the kids, and the kids, for certain kids, it, I think it's probably good. Yeah, but how many of them are you going to sell? Well, it doesn't matter. They don't have to produce a lot of them either. Does Barbie still have that figure that if they blew it up to a real person would be, you know, like yeah, that a kind Bar of figure? Well, you know, Barbie was based on a French sex doll. You know that, don't you? On who? On a French sex doll. Really? Yes. There was a little doll that this company made in France that was very sexually ample and had the same kind of shape as Barbie and so on. And they sold them kind of as a sex doll. And uh, the woman who came up with the Barbie doll saw them in France and said, we should do that in America, but let's clean it up a little bit so it's not a sex doll, but that it's a doll for, for girls, for, you know, for little girls. So France, they have around kids, and I'm sure Brian's around kids, that it works for them. It works for the kids. It does, really? You think so? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay, well, then I'm, I'm just kind Did of... Did come a, out with a Barbie called Ken? What's that? Didn't Ken. They come out with a male? Yeah, Ken. 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 The Ken doll. Yeah. Yeah, that's been around for years. About a 90, 90 year old Barbie. Where she's old and saggy and. Yeah, they haven't done that yet. They haven't done that yet. Give them time. Mm, I'm thinking, what, what kind of Barbie won't they do? Well, they're going to do. I know they're doing one with hearing aids, and the only question Ooh, is, those hearing aids can come out, and kids can swallow them. They're probably attached. <laughs> okay. If it's a boy that swallows them, he'll end up pissing out a piece of plastic. Yeah, but uh, you know, I, 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 how many of these are you going to sell? Though is the question. You know, and <sighs> if you've got a Barbie that's got one leg, which is very simple to make yourself at home, just rip the one yeah, off that's right there. Off. You know. And her, her nickname her nickname is Peggy. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Boom, boom. Okay. All right. Yeah, did that job, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I gotta go. <laughs> HR is calling me right now. Well who's calling? It's a good thing nobody watches the show. That's that's the big thing, you know. Only <laughs> <laughs> people. We got a lot of people in Germany. All the people in Germany, Wait, right? All of a sudden, we got a lot of people watching this show. Yeah. They got it. That's because Brian and, and Kevin are on. They got a, a quadriplegic guy that they're gonna put out. A uh, quadriplegic kid. They're gonna call him Matt. You'd be surprised how many people watch this show. Like a floor I, mat. Forget. I got a friend in Florida that watches. My rolfer. I go there on Fridays. He says, I oh, saw the show. By the you way, know? by the way, cool it, guys. We have a woman in the room. Oh, he's been Ooh, invaded. Look at that. Let's play the, remember, remember, where's Waldo? Where's Adrian? 
Oh, wait a minute. I think I see her. I think I see her. She's behind her father's shoulder. I seem to see. Oh, she just disappeared. She just. Where'd she go? That's like a magic trick. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There come. There. There she come. There's. Come on. Let's raise your head a little higher. A little higher. Come here. Come here. Come over here. I'm gonna turn it off. Like he's calling the dog. You must get you must get lots of laughs from her. Ah, hi there. How you doing? And she's, she's growing up too much. Say hi. Yeah. Hi. How you hi. doing? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ask Alex a question. Ask Alex a question. Alex. Ask me any question, Adrian. What kind of Barbie does you have? I can't hear you. Ask him. Ask him. No. Okay. What? What was she gonna? It's awkward. It says it's awkward. What, what, what was the question? She whispered I, it to you, didn't she? I don't know. She said something about Alex. Ask Alex what. Um. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. You gotta tell go. Alex to dance like you. Yeah. No. Now, Alex, it. get up and dance. <laughs> What did she? What did she say? Right. Did she say anything? You know, you could just use her as a ventriloquist dummy if you wanted to. What? No. Bye. 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 Say goodbye. Goodbye. No. No. Go. 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 <laughs> she got in trouble, so she's trying to be she, nice so she could play games. She got no, in trouble with. Go. <laughs> <laughs> this is my better than you, Brian. Very Brian, much better. Hey, you hey, no, no, no. That I, age while you got her, because uh, uh, we just got uh, word that uh, two of our twin great granddaughters are now thirteen and are already giving mommy and daddy hell about boys. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, the day that she brings home a boyfriend that's wrong, he's going to be on the phone calling Phil and me to take him to the range and teach him how to shoot. Brian, she is hilarious. Yeah. You know, I mean, probably she exhausts you, but she she's has hilarious. very, very funny moments. Like, 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 funny, like her brain is like really like comedy type things, like not normal. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean... She she has a performer sense in her. Oh yeah. And so I would encourage that. Yeah, just, she loves and she loves being on stage. Just really don't good. just don't buy a pole, okay? <laughs> I told you, Chris Rock says keep away from the pole. That's all you gotta do. That's Your only job. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, hello, Jack. How you doing? Heard you guys talking about the ninety year old Barbie. There is already a ninety year old Barbie on the market. Really. A 96-year-old Barbie. Yeah, it's called uh, Andrea Mitchell. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Yeah, besides that one, no. Uh, they have done a Queen Elizabeth Barbie. Oh, good. So, sells for 75 bucks a throw. Jack's got six That's of them. That's right. Yeah, I forgot no, about that. I got eight of them, just in case. Yeah. Yeah, they're probably worth something in 96 years. Well, is it put out by Mattel? I mean, is it officially done a bar? By, it's done by Mattel. Yeah. Really? Yeah, they put it out about a month ago. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And they're selling like crazy. Hmm. Uh, wanted to get um, four of them because we have two sets of twins in our family. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're they're past the age of uh, Barbies. But I said, I'll mm -hmm. buy this and leave it to them for the future, right? Mm -hmm. Couldn't find any. Couldn't yeah. find any in any of the stores that uh, we regularly shop in and had to had to go to Amazon, like God Adam intended. Eleven didn't have them, huh, Jeff? No, no, and neither did that story where you got that cap. <laughs> Don't mess with me. I want you to know this is actually a licensed product. It's probably the first licensed product I've ever bought. Licensed by the New York Police Department. Not that I care, but it. Well, you didn't buy that at the Cops R Us store. No, no, it's it's got a little thing inside that says 
NYPD. I don't like my bald spot. I got to cover it up. It says it's an officially licensed. I love product. mine. Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, I'm getting there, Alex. Not not far in Phil, too, you know? So, so I would say... It, it, it's cut this it show, it does it to I, you. I need a haircut, actually. I, I thought this show gave you cancer. Oh, don't say it. Uh, the prostate, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. prostate. Well, anyway. Um, what else was happening mm. in the news today? Oh, you know, they found, as I say, they found a black hole. Really? Uh, yeah. Huge. Huge. And mm. um, they say it, it's a planet... It's a... It's a, uh, uh, what do they call it? A planet killer. It literally is sucking up planets like crazy. Wow. Yeah. Are you sure they're not talking about Tony's ass? <laughs> what I heard is if you travel into it, okay, but you don't exactly stay in it, but you come back out, and you spent like a minute in there and came back out, 10 years will have passed outside the black hole. He had something like that on the uh, new Star Trek show uh, that kicked off last week. Well, yeah, but that's all the you know, it's all Einstein's theory of relativity. Well, yeah, but I mean, you know, I thought it was very uh, interesting that they had that on television one week and we're talking about a new black hole the next week, you know, just one of them circumstantial kind of things. That I don't remember a black hole on the first episode. Well, it, uh, I'm sorry. It was the episode that happened tonight. Oh, because I've only watched about half of that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah. You watching the thing, uh, the Godfather thing, the offer? Really, you're not watching that? It's terrific. I gotta watch it yet. Even it's about. I was on a plane. I was on the plane, and <clears throat> I I searched for that, and I found out that 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 is on my Pluto TV. It's it's on Pluto TV? What, just like yeah. one episode or something? Yeah, only the first episode. It was weird. And so I, I was able to watch it either two times. A uh, lot of times these a lot of the like, times these companies will put that thing on several places like Pluto and wherever. And the reason is, is they want to suck you in with one episode and then have you pay to get the rest. Yeah, because yeah, they only had one episode. And I keep searching every day, and I can't find anything else. Yeah, they, well, that's what they want you to yeah. go over to Paramount Plus, subscribe to it, and right. you know. Yeah, yes. actually, the first episode was really good. But yeah, it's really good, Alan. I've never heard of Pluto TV. What is it? Uh, it's a, a it's another one of these. You know, it's for it's free. Okay, yeah. but you got to watch commercials. And the thing they do with commercials on free TV, on free uh, internet now, is you can't speed up and go past the commercial. Oh, right. Okay? So you're stuck with those commercials, and I won't put up with that. You know? I pay for all the, the free, you know, all the no commercial services. I do the same thing. Yeah. I just did it on uh, YouTube, and uh, it, it's kind of nice. Now, you know, I wish it was on everything else. Yeah. You know the commercial free. I watched Better Call Saul tonight, the uh, newest episode. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've been keeping up with that. You watch yeah. that at all, Jack? Sure do. Okay, good. Didn't watch tonight's episode, but there wasn't one tonight. On, it was last Monday. Well, I got Saul on speed dial now. <laughs> <laughs> I still watch Survivor. You really still watch Survivor? I do. See, and I, Amazing Race. I like Amazing Race. Though, I liked too. it when in the first season where they were eating mice and they were, you know, they were having to do all kinds of things to survive. It was a rough show. And then yeah. now you turn it on and it's like, I don't know, they give you a, a temp with an air mattress, you know, and crap no. like that. You know, it's not right. like it used to be. It's not like it used to be. Right. These last two, 40. Forty-one and forty-two, they went back to the rice and taking their flint away and stuff like that. Only a little rice, just a yeah, lot. That is ballot. What? Uh, or uh, uh, the election? That's the official ballot. Uh, oh, that's. Oh, I've got about thirty of them here for you, Phil. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. I'm, matter of fact, I'm going to copy some you, more. You're going to vote for Biden again? <laughs> oh yeah, you you you. I'm going to make some copies right now. No, uh, uh, Kevin runs polling places, right, Kevin? Yeah, I do. And so those are the ballots? 
Yeah, this is this month, this week, this uh, this year's. Yeah, this he next collects, election. and he fills them out ahead of time, and then he drops them in the ballot. No, but any of the ones that were for a Republican oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. candidate, he puts in the dumpster. I've got thirty of them. What, what do you yeah. got? Yeah. Hey, hey, Kevin and I busted a big pallet full of them, so we're filling them out tonight. And yeah, we're trading off. He does yeah, half, I do half. says I voted on it? I didn't get one what, of those. What, what are the big races this year out in California? Uh, governor. I, mean, uh, I just counted 30-something uh, as governor. Yeah. I think it was. I've been lost did track you when see, you said so. Did you see the Republican candidates for governor and Senate in California? Uh, I mean... I am a garbage collector, and I am a Republican. You know, I I, I, I couldn't believe the the crop of Republicans. The the Republicans are ashamed of themselves. Actually. Twenty-six for governor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for lieutenant governor. Yeah. Wow. You see that one woman uh, for? Oh, this is a primary, right? Yeah, it's a oh, primary. Oh, this, yeah. oh, yeah. Well, yeah. This is the primary. Is the statewide primary. Yeah. When's this thing We've with got, Doctor? Uh, three, four, five, six, seven for Secretary of State, and I know one of them locally mm -hmm. here is a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. He'll uh, never make it. So here's here's the insurance commissioner. She says, nurse, black trans woman, single payer, universal health care. That's her whole stance. And then uh, about thirty for her. Uh, this other one uh, uh, for governor, her name, uh, Mariana Dawson. Mm -hmm. F all politicians. Oh, yeah. These are the Republicans. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I saw that yeah. one. Uh, yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. They actually waste paper on that. Yeah. Well, she, she no, has the right. She has the right to run. They asked her to write a, 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 so many words of, about herself, what? and she decided to write, fuck all politicians. Yeah. Well, eight, she has no eight, party preference. Eight for senator, one, two, three for uh, state rep. Yeah. Uh, Alioto, I think it's the one that Alex knows is running for something. Which Alioto? Angela? What's her name? Angela? This yeah, local guy here, going uh, for the, uh, representative, is going to lose. The other guy is going to lose, so Zoe Lofgren is probably going to get it again. Um, I'm looking for Al Alioto. Uh, I think Angela is probably a little old to run. Right, that's what I yeah. thought. Yeah, uh, So it's probably another Alioto. Oh, here it is. Uh, um, Michaela Alioto Peer, uh, Board of Equalization. So it's probably uh, a daughter who married somebody, and that's her uh, from uh, yeah. yeah. Well, her married name is Peer. Uh, well, here's your favorite, Phil. Here's a sample ballot. I'll just cross out sample, and I'll submit that one, too. I'm sure you will. That's Sign, the one Trump always Sign, says. Oh, they do Sign. those, too. They send them in. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. It comes from a family of immigrants who worked along the San Francisco waterfront and up the northern coast of California as as a Napa Valley grape grower. Sure. Yeah. You know, a family of immigrants. Yeah, they were Italian. Yeah, right. <laughs> they ran San Francisco. Well, That's come right. on. I'm a, I'm from a, I'm from immigrants. Well, my mother wasn't an immigrant. My father was. Yeah. yeah. The grapes of wrath taking place out there out in San Francisco? Or, or the, no, no. The grape of Kent. Uh, the, the, grape, grape, the grapes of Kent. wrath took place in um, in California. It Salinas. ends up in California. Salinas. Is that oh, far from San Fran or no? What? Is it Salinas? Is Salinas far from San Francisco? Salinas? Oh, you yeah, that's where your hotel when you is. Come to visit us, Tony. Yeah. It's just yeah. a, like two hours. Where are you guys? <laughs> three hours. Near Kevin. Was the great Salinas Surratt is about 20 minutes from here. Salinas, right? I, I can't remember exactly where they wind up, but I think it may be Salinas or somewhere like that. Yeah, Salinas is where they wind up. You, you know, the, cent yeah. the uh, Central Valley place yeah. like that. But they, they it's all about the Dust Bowl, you know. Yeah, and, and coming out from the Dust the Excuse Valley. me. Coming out from the, for the Dust, you know, the Dust I I watched that documentary you talked about on the Dust Bowl. I like the documentaries. I get sucked into them. Really? I like watching stuff on old times. Okay. Uh oh. So, <laughs> so how long do we have to wait now for this this uh, your biopsy to come back? 
I think he said six about, months for his thing. When he said he wouldn't give me definitive dates, everything looked good. The sign remains today. He, said, but then he, he, he said can't it tell he said whether it. They always tell you everything looked good, so they can get you out of the office without yeah. crying. Yeah, no, because <laughs> they can't. They can't tell from giving you the biopsy whether it no, looks good gotta, or not. They got to send it to pathology, and the pathologist yeah. left. That's what the, yeah. The, the, yeah, so he doesn't they know. Look. Oh, it looked good. Fine, but my Tony, prostate looked good it. too. But Tony, they're going to send it to a paleontologist. You know what he did say? I did ask him, Alex. I don't mean. Here we are, back up Tony's butt again. <laughs> I did ask the guy, Alex. I says, "Could we have watched this?" He says, "Yeah, we could have watched it." I was going to call you up and say, "Look, <laughs> no, you don't, listen, you don't want to watch any procedure that they're ever." No, meaning like he said, "Could I?" Have oh no, I got day? a, I got a, um, uh, what do you call it? The guy what's, left his time what, next what, to her what's, ass, the, uh, <laughs> what's the one up the butt that doesn't go all the way? Oh, oh, it's called Bob, actually. Uh, <laughs> no, it's a sigmoidoscopy. And when I had my I had a sigmoidoscopy, they said if you want to see it, you can look on the screen right there. And I watched it, and I thought it was pretty interesting to watch. Oh my God! Lay on your left side and watch it on TV. Before I had my heart surgery, they did this thing. Where they, you know, uh, ran something. Well, let's see here. We got 28 people watching right now. You're going to lower it to 25, are you? Go ahead. Oh. Well, anyway, they offered me a chance to watch them as they were checking my heart out. I said, hell, you know, I never wanted to know I had one until you guys told me there was a problem. And via Graham. Yeah. Mm. You know, they said, said, you can watch it if you want to. I said, no, nah, no. Wait, wait, now, what is that? What is that? Here we go. Johnny, Johnny Carson. Carson on Pluto TV. Oh, okay. See? Yeah, Pluto TV's yeah. got like a whole bunch of Three's Company, The Love Boat. Oh, I love Three's Company, Jack. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah, Three's Company. Yeah. You, you, you can't get Pluto TV in Queens, sorry. All right. No, you can get Pluto TV is on uh, uh, on the internet. You can get if you got Roku. I don't you know, I just found Roku. out what it was. I was teasing. I, I find it totally useless. Okay. You know, so. Except I, when I Googled the offer, it popped up. I was like, like you said, the only one, one episode. <laughs> Oh really? Yeah, only one. The first one. That's all. And I keep checking, and this is it on Netflix. Yeah. It's on oh, it's on Paramount Netflix. Plus. Was it on Amazon? Paramount Plus. He just told you it was on Paramount Plus. <laughs> oh. Really well, I, I, I don't. If think you're I gonna get... ask questions, listen to the answers, Phil. Uh, <laughs> Paramount I, Plus. I see it advertised all the time. I thought it was on Netflix. Paramount Plus. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Alex, I did what you did. I decided to get uh, Disney Plus, mm -hmm. and I love it. I was really surprised. Oh, Disney Plus is terrific. But also, if you want to, they have a three-channel uh, deal where you can get Hulu, Disney Plus, and ESPN Plus, all for like, I think it's... Seven ninety nine, seventeen ninety nine, something yes, like that. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, it's a good combination, actually. Okay. In fact, I'm thinking of pulling the cord here, and oh, we did that two years ago, and going to live Hulu Live Plus Live, and they give you that plus the three Disney channels for seven ninety five. No, 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 for for seventy five dollars. I've been doing the uh, Google TV for sixty five bucks. And I'm very happy with it. Really? Yeah. yeah. The Google TV gives you all the local channels, gives you the news, uh, gives you plenty of shows, all the, all these little networks that you'd normally get on cable. Uh, well, what happens with Hulu that I like is that they also allow me to subscribe to HBO and all the other things I would well, be so losing. Does, so does the Google TV. Yeah. And it, it, I'm thinking the whole package, everything I want to do is going to cost about... Two hundred fifty-one bucks a month, but you gotta but, get you gotta get internet. No, but I'm paying. That's for, with me paying for an internet. Oh, my internet would cost me a hundred a month. Okay, uh, for the fast throughput that I use here. Um, but yeah. it, it it you know the, it, it it looked good because with everything I'm doing now, it comes to like oh, three hundred twenty-five dollars a month. So you know this would this would make it much better. Yeah. How fast is the speed of your internet, Alex? It's a gig up and a gig down. Now, uh, your current TV, is it coaxial well, or... Wait a, minute, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. What, Alan? Did you give me a sneer uh, when I said that? Oh, no, no. Well, uh, because I have a gig down, but I don't get the gig up. Oh. I get, 
I, you haven't been down. able to gig up in years. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see you. No, um, yeah, so I have a, a the, the download is a gig, and it actually runs a little faster at night sometimes. Yeah, well, I... I, 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 I up I, is only like 50 meg. Or I need, need it because when I'm posting shows here, I then don't have to wait forever to get it to upload. Yeah. You know, okay. so... Uh, is your um, TV, does it come through your uh, your fast internet, or is By the it way, with your insightful questions, we're down to 24 people watching, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's because I turned off the TV. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, no, I was just wondering, you know, because when I had cable, it was on a coax feed and uh in, into a modem and i know you have uh an optical i have fiber optics yeah. fiber optics yeah. uh is that the way you're getting your television signal uh it's coming in through fiber too yeah oh okay. yeah i mean so the whole thing fine. is fi the whole thing is fiber up until they hit the apartment then it yep. goes to coaxial cable right as a way to put it out but the the signal is much clearer and uh it's uh, you know it's it's really good i mean it, there's no question so, about it so if you cut the cord and went to an internet provider you would actually be getting your tv through the fiber optics no i wouldn't be getting the tv at all well no you would you would be able to get it through the internet it's through and, the internet right. and i would be still using fios and it would still be um what do you call it? Fiber optics. Fiber optics, which, by the no, way, no, no, no. the fiber optics for my internet ends right here on top of this desk. So you know, it has a very short way to go to the modem. So mm -hmm. I've got I've got a pretty clean signal. Found very little problems with it over the years. Oh, you know, that's good. Phil out there uh, still has. Uh, do you have dial up? Right? F uh, not Phil. No, uh, I, I mean, have uh, no, semaphore. No. I mean, no, I was talking about Jack. Jack, you still have dial up out there in Texas, about, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Sometimes smoke signals. If we're, uh, you should try what I got. I got semaphore. It's uh, you know ship to ship ah. flags. <laughs> I thought semaphore was the thing they have you drink before they do the biopsy. Didn't you, didn't you, um, um, Jack, recently change to another system? You you bought a different uh, service? Yeah, we uh, bought a system as a backup, haven't had any problems with the one we had before. Uh, turned out, uh, you know, one of the problems we have in the Loserville that I live in yes. is uh, uh, they have done telephone and fiber optics piecemeal so what, some, what do you mean piecemeal i mean it's either fiber or it isn't well right. i mean some city some parts of the city have fiber some don't uh that was part of my problem before we switched to this other company prime metamucil <laughs> that's right well, I'll you up on that. Only you on know. Tuesdays. It's a, <laughs> it's the but, cheapest uh, fiber you can buy, and the uh, one that Tony personally endorses for his biopsy. And if you <clears throat> remember, for a, for a, a state that considers or wants to be considered, uh, you know, cutting edge, we have lousy services on things out here. No, what it's Texas for Christ's sake. Yeah, really? That's why you cutting left? Edge? Yeah. You know, that's why you left, Bennett. You were smart. Yeah. yeah. What do you have where you are, Kevin? Do you have fiber? No. No? Okay. It's... How about you, no. Bri How about you Brian, here. where you are? Fiber? No? Probably. Anybody here got fiber? Tony does. No. Oh, um, I see. Yeah, I got files, yeah. Fiber. I got the same as you do. Oh, you have the you have the fiber. Yeah, yeah. My brother got the fiber. Yeah, he used to work for Verizon, but yeah, we yeah. Got, he was trying to argue with them to get a cheaper price. They never go down on prices. I just I, tell me you're gonna cancel. Tell me you're gonna cancel. I did that the other day. I did I did that the other day, and they said you're getting the lowest possible price. I gotta call them up. That's what they said to me, and I'm paying two seventy six a month. So my my story about you know I have Ring now. I don't need ADT, so I can't. Oh, no, Ring's good. Yeah. I canceled, and they kept saying, "We'll get, cut it down to this much, you know, pay only twenty percent for six months, and blah blah." I finally cut it. I said, "No, no, 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 I can't afford it." Finally, they said, "Okay," they canceled it. Now I had a guy call, and he's part of some team 
And it's I forget what the team was called, and he left me a message saying that he wants to talk to me about being able to restore this at a lower price. I'm like, oh uh-huh. my. Hmm. So I, I want to cancel everything, and then I'll get half price for six months of everything. There's an app that you can put on your phone that finds uh, supposedly all the uh, services that you've subscribed to, mm-hmm. and allows you and, and it allows you to cancel it in in one stroke, uh, and uh, it, it's supposed to make life a lot easier. I, I think it's called. If, if all your apps are on one credit card, you just say you lost the card. They give you a new number, and they're all canceled. Yeah, well, yeah, I think it's called True Bill. Uh, I, I haven't looked too far into it, but. You know, I I sign up for stuff, and I'm sure I'm paying for all these diet apps that I never use. You know, how's that going for you? Uh, <laughs> pretty good. Oh, I thought you. You know, last time we checked in with you, you were doing uh, a certain exercise regimen every day. I'm still doing it. You're still doing it. You yeah. still go to this guy, and he beats you up and everything. He beats the crazy. shit out of me. Uh, I I've I've cut down to one time a week while I was on the medicine for the SIBO Mm -hmm. because my stomach was, you know, turning at 530 in the morning. And so I've been going on Saturdays, but uh, and this coming Saturday, I'll go then Monday and Thursday Mm because I'm off the meds now. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was just wondering because you usually start things and never continue them. Uh, And I I hadn't heard about it for a while. And he hasn't changed, Alex. He's still that way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I'm I, I'm getting a lot of good results from from this CrossFit exercise. Before he before he uh, started it, he got test body weight. And it was like mm. what thirty one percent, and now uh, thirty four. Uh, uh, my BMI I think was thirty four. Now now it's down to thirty one. My ass cap is seventy six. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will get that joke unless you're in the broadcasting or yeah, music business. Oh. Because there are two services. One is called BMI and the other one's called ASCAP. And I said, well, my ASCAP is... Didn't they merge? No. No. Huh? No. There used to be a third one called CSAC when, when I got started. I think it's still around. Ah. It, was, it was European is what it was. It was like a lot of European music I'm always published. Peeing. Jack, what, what's all that stuff on your shelves, Jack? Are those tapes? Tapes, CDs, model cars, toys from when I was a boy. Just crap. They, they had toys then? Yeah, you know, we, we used to, every now and then, uh, find uh, some dinosaur crap and make something <laughs> out of it, you know? Well, you see, I don't, I don't have anything like that here. I keep a very yeah. clean room. Lift the curtain. Yeah, it's the one back <laughs> here that's the problem. See, I'm on the beach. Uh, yeah, yeah. But, well, we uh, shouldn't we shouldn't say this about Phil. You know, Phil one night on my program let us see the blue side of the moon. He stood up and he was in blue underwear. <laughs> And, and, it's long underwear. It's like workout stuff. Yeah, but you don't do video, so nobody saw it except you. Yeah, you know, and and, and my eyes have never been the same, and my and it's and it's warped my sight. Oh, there we go. Well, uh, you know, I was glad to be able to give you a thrill, but is that why you're having all these heart problems? <laughs> Hi, Jack. You gotta go. Yeah, gotta go. you got to go. You got to go do your show. His show is next, by the way, and you can uh, call him using Gabnet Live and yeah, using just don't Skype. Call hijack on the plane. No, don't say hijack on the plane. Right? If you're on a plane, don't call him because then you'll have to say hijack, and then they'll tackle you to the ground. Thank you, thank you, Jack. Jack's looking for a way to sign off a of Zoom. Okay, he figured it out. That was that deer in the headlights look. Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, everybody. Thank you so much tonight. We're down to, oh, God. Not a lot of people. Not a lot of people. I don't know. What's, what's, is it really that bad here? Yeah. Well, you know, you got a lot of people on the show. You, you complained a little bit, and everybody came on the show. I almost had more people here than I have on, the, on watching it. Anyway. And we're all watching this. So that's half the people there. Yeah, right. Exactly. Thank you so much, Jeff. <laughs> Appreciate it. Tony, glad you had your test. I hope it turns out okay. You'll be getting your results back in a year. 
Uh, Alan, thank you. Thank you, Martin, thank you Phil, great. for calling us. Uh, uh, Kevin, love having you here, you know, always. Brian, wonderful. Just wonderful. And uh, I want all of you to, like, uh, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, and then we will fade to my camera. There we go. There I am. Okay, let me just uh, take these people and get rid of them here unceremoniously. Uh, uh, Jack Bishop is next with the intersection. He'll be here with uh, uh, your calls on Skype at GabNet Live. I'll be back again tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, and as I love to say, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.